and I always got room for more subscribers. If you got a question, leave it down there in the comments and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. Boundary Supply strikes again with the Renan collection. We already know that Boundary Supply is a blue sign company. Basically, they do a lot to do recycled materials, making them reusable and sustainable. And they have this Renan collection that they just came out with. And basically everything in the line has a percentage of recycled materials in it. This is the day pack right here. This is the, the main, I mean the main item in the collection right here. And we're gonna run through this pack, but they also sent me over, they have like a new little sling pack and they got some pouches right here. We're gonna run through all of this stuff and talk about it, check it out and see if it's any good. That's how we do. So I actually have two styles of their pack right here. So this one is made out of a more like a regular fabric material and this one is the X pack the Sailcloth X-Pack. They're basically the same exact pack. They have the same features in them. The, the fabrics are a little bit different. I'll point out the differences. I like the X-Pack version just a little bit more. So we're gonna run through this one. I don't have this one packed out, but I wanted to show it to you because it does come in a lot of different colors. They have some color options available. Let's throw the sling pack over to the side right now and talk about the pack right here. X-Pack sailcloth material, loving it. Now, some folks will ask me, hey George, the bags you review are a little big. I want something that's more in that regular Average size guy EDC realm, boom, here you go right here. A 22 liter pack. I think that that's, you know, on the bottom end for me personally for my EDC, but for a lot of people, this is perfect. Just your essentials, maybe a book, a lunch, couple of tech items, water bottle, and you're good. So this is gonna fit a lot of folks. And, and what Boundary Supply says about this pack is like, it's a Jansport with updated materials. And I can see that, you know, it's got that Jansport kind of throwback kind of look of it, about it with a little modern updates. But we're not gonna waste any more time talking about it. Let's go ahead and get into this pack. Like I said, sailcloth material. I like the look of this pack all blacked out. On the zipper pulls right here, they come with a little bit of orange. I love the, the orange or the tan with the black really nice now one thing about boundary supply <laughs> and on this pack is the zippers are just a little small for me i like to see the zippers a little bit better they are ykk they have a nice little zipper lanyard pull on them with like some shrink wrap material double zipper on the main section we'll walk into the main section first and then yeah it's an aqua guard zipper as well so it's going to keep the water out simple kind of pack though so when you unzip not a full clamshell kind of goes halfway down the pack and then you get into this main section and you can see that they carry that tan interior inside the the pack itself now what you'll notice as soon as i flip down the lid you'll see these items out here this is my stuff right here that i always need to carry with me i got my adventure metal kit good for one to two people and then my thule power shuttle with all my tech stuff but on the lid of this pocket you got two little slip pockets in here now one thing about boundary supply in, in this pack particularly it reminds me of that prima system pack that i did like a couple of weeks ago not in love with the interior lining in these packs they say it's a 200 denier ribstop yeah it's just it, it's just really light you know it's just really light now one thing i want to show you on the other rented pack that i have is i like the interior in this pack a little bit more same ykk zips and everything but the this interior lining is a little bit heavier i don't know what that is about man it just feels a little bit more sturdy in my on my fingers you know my fingertips my tactile feel of this 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 feels a little bit better than what's going on in the black one and that's a shame because i really like the black but 
Moving on. Also on the top lid of this pocket, you have a little, a little pocket right here where you can carry, you know, put your quick access essentials right there on the top. I put my wallet in there and what you'll notice you have these little, you have this little nipple inside. So that's a place where you could hook in that uh, key accessory that Boundary Supply sells. Now you're gonna have to purchase it separately. I wanna review this pack on its own. If you just purchase the pack without the accessories, but you have that option, you can purchase that little key with the nipple on it and stick it right here. It's a magnetic type of system that works right there. But nice little pocket on the inside for you. YKK zips in the inside. Now the zippers in the interior are even smaller than the exterior. So yeah, I just say, I would like to see the exterior zippers in the interior and then a larger exterior zipper, man. Like maybe a number nine or number 10, that would be awesome. It's kind of hard with the AquaGuard system though. You know, with the AquaGuard zippers, you want to keep the water out, maybe, I, I can't get the, all of the zipper numbers right in my head, but bigger. Boundary supply, bigger. <laughs> you know, whatever bigger is, that's what I want. So then in here you have, this is the main compartment for, for this section. So like I said, just big enough maybe for your lunch, a book or two. And for me, I just stuck in there in the bottom. I got my Sony XM3 headphones, great noise canceling headphones. And then I have my Loistrom notebook that I've been screaming and hollering and telling you guys is excellent. So inside you gotta see the space. And then in the back here, you have the nipple, same little nipple system in the back, a little magnetic system. You could put your field space in there. That's another accessory that Boundary Supply sells is the field space you got to purchase it separately we're reviewing this pack on its own standing by itself so this is how you're going to get it if you just order the pack got a little boundary supply branding up here just says land water rock and some coordinates and stuff so then in the back they say that this pack is rated for a 15 inch laptop but actually i stuck in my 17 inch dell xps and that fits in there with no, well, yeah, it fits in there pretty good. I mean, it's running right on the edges, but 17 inch laptop will fit in there. It is suspended somewhat off the bottom, just like maybe like that much. It's not, it's not suspended that much off the bottom, but that's the interior, very simple. And it's the same interior in the other pack, the, this, the blue pack has the same style interior, same little lineup, low pocket right here, two slip pockets in the, on the lid, and then your um, laptop compartment with the nye wool lining. Yeah, I mentioned, <laughs> didn't mention the fabric. Nye wool lining in, in the laptop compartment, keeping with that, you know, sustainability, recycled materials, trying to keep the planet clean. I'm, I'm all about that. You know, all about the next generation. Let's walk on the outside of the bag and check out some more of the features on the outside of the bag. Now, on the bottom of the bag, they actually have, this just feels more like a nylon material. You know, it's not the X-Pack material. And I think that they did this because this is gonna be a high abrasion uh, wear place. So definitely hits you with a heavier weight material. So I like that. And then if you move up the pack a little bit, you have a little quick access pocket with some magnets that kind of cover this lid. So that's pretty nice. You got a little zipper and there's a decent sized pocket right here to, for your quick access. So in there, I put my little CLC, great little budget, uh, little pockets right here, little pouches. And then here, I just got my little essentials, Burst Bees, hand sanitizer, dude wipes. I've added in here. It's the same kind of lighting as far as the inside of this pocket and you have like a little connection point in there So you can put your key keeper there nice little pocket with the magnets hidden sweet Zippers are a little small, but we're gonna get over that. So that's their your quick access pocket This this pack itself has got a slim profile. Let me talk about the dimensions it actually is 20 inches tall it's 13 inches wide and it can expand out to a depth of six inches. So this is smaller pack, definitely. Let's move around to the side of the pack. Now the water bottle pocket on this side, don't know how I feel about it to be totally, totally honest. 
Um, it's a water bottle pocket. They say on the website it can only take a 22 ounce water bottle. So that's gonna knock out your, your big old 32 ounce Nalgene bottle. Forget about it, it's not gonna fit. I have my 24 ounce Camelback chute. This fits in there, but you can see the divot in the side. So it's taking up interior space. It's eating into my, my, my we are talking about a small pack, my 22 liter pack. So it's taking up a little of that space when I put even this size water bottle in there. And it doesn't have, the water bottle pocket doesn't have any retention. That's one thing. It's just a, you know, just sewn fabric in a in a pocket. I wish there was some retention there, especially if you, you know, catch yourself running or something. I'm worried that this is going to slide out. And it's a possibility. It's unlikely, but a possibility. So on the other side of the pack, you just have a little bit of branding. It's this boundary up there. Nothing else going on, just the X pack material, which I think the X pack on this pack is a little, it's a little bit better. Like on the Prima system, it was super duper loud. This is since it's a smaller pack and it's not having so many moving parts, the X pack is a little quieter. So that's a good thing. Definitely a good thing on the top. You got a little grab handle. Feels like a like a nylon kind of seatbelt webbing, kind of smooth, padded somewhat, and my big hands can get around it, so I'm happy with it. Now let's flip around to the back of this thing, right? Very simple back panel. <laughs> Very simple. Jansport like. So shoulder straps have these <laughs> Jansport style shoulder straps. Now one thing about the shoulder straps that's not like a Jansport is on the back side you have some nice mesh. The cushion in it is 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 adequate. You know it's not it's not great. It's not awesome. It's not off the charts. It's adequate. You know it, it feels decent on on your shoulders. Comparable to a Jansport. Now if you flip the shoulder straps back, the back panel has mesh. But no real airflow, you know, airflow channels going on here. Just a big mesh um, section back here. We'll give you some airflow, but not the best, not the worst. Now, the one thing that's different on on the blue version over here is the mesh on the back. Now, the the X Pack version feels like it has a higher quality mesh on the back. Now, the blue has like more of a a, a budget kind of mesh on the back of it, on the shoulder straps, and also on the back panel. So just be just be mindful of that. I think it's gonna play into the price. And I don't have prices for these yet because they just came out. So but when we not get to the end and I'm like, yo, we're gonna talk about the price. I can't do that on these packs because the prices ain't out yet. So I think I'm but I'm thinking X pack is gonna be a little bit more money. But yeah, man, that's the that's the pack. Very very simple. You know, you want a simple pack right here. Very stylish, definitely. And I and I like the blue. I, I mean, I actually prefer the fabric a little bit. It feels heavier on the blue fabric. I mean, yeah, it's got a it's got a, a substantial feeling to it. Like it's gonna last a long time. But pretty much, they're the same exact pack. Let's move on. Let's talk about this sling pack right here. This sling pack is the same kind of thing. I think the biggest thing with these this these collection is the fact that they're made out of recycled material. So yeah, so if you're down with the recycled material life, these things are right up your damn alley. So this is three liters. This is 55% recycled material. And each one of the pieces has a percentage of recycled material and they're listed right on the website. This is like a 500 decor door of fabric. And the measurements on this are 10 and a half inches in length. It's six and a half inches in height and it can expand out to three inches. So not the hugest, you know, sling bag, just your essentials, maybe you're running out for the day. And my EDC has changed since COVID. So now I'm carrying hand sanitizer. Now I'm carrying a mask. So I can't stick all of that stuff in my pockets. This is a good option for that, you know, for solution. So just plain black, you'll get me with the black every time. Got the, you know, boundary supply logo right there in the front. Same thing as the backpack, got the little apex right there in the front. Same thing with the blue. And Akagar zippers on this, dual zippers. The zippers are still small. I wish they were bigger. You know, if I was to get one message across the boundary, make these zippers a little bigger. Inside there, 
you have a heavier weight lining. It's a 200 denier lining, and you guys can kind of see what I stuck in there. I got my Green Room 136 mask. Can't leave home without that thing now. <laughs> it's so weird now. You gotta have, gotta have a mask everywhere you go. They have a key keeper in here, and there I put my Henry holster with my little OCD uh, Purell bottle. This is excellent. Keep it, keep it with me. Keep my Purell on deck. Inside, like I said, 200 denier ripstop lining inside. It's got two slip pockets right here in the back. So this, I set this up for like going out for an extended day. So I wanna be able to what? Charge my cell phone. That's like the main thing. So I got an extra battery. This is an anchor battery. And then I also have uh, my Spyderco Chaparral in there. This is a great EDC knife, man. Definitely. <laughs> it's some people don't like the leaf blades, but I'm definitely into it. I love it because it's got the finger tool right there in the front so that I can get my hand around it. I have extra large hands. So this knife is pretty damn awesome for me and I'll keep on talking about it. It's not a knife video, George, move on. <laughs> so, and you got another slip pocket where I stuck in a larger USB type C cord because that's what my phone takes. And that's really about it. You got a little space in the middle. Um, got a little hidden pocket on the other side where you can probably just stick in some money or something like that. Anything, your medicine, smaller items, little zippers in here. I mean, this is like one of the smallest YKK zippers I've ever seen in here, but it works. So it's got the little core door symbol on the inside. Basic black, couple of slip pockets, couple of smaller pockets. Sweet. And then on the back side, you do have an extra little pocket where AquaGuard pocket as well. You can slip your cell phone on in, on, in any of these pockets, really. And then the back right here, I just put a uh, field book with a little pen, G2 Pilot pen back there. And I'll keep my little notes if I need to take notes. I know, I know. I'm a nerd. <laughs> I know. So... Uh, the strap itself is decent. It's not padded at all. Nice Wu Jin buckle right here. So it's got the Wu Jin um, branding on the back of it. But it's got a nice snap. Here the snap. Good. Definitely good. You know, you just throw this. Throw this. Can I do this on camera? Yeah. Throw this over. And, you know, you're good for the day. Sling pack. Not a fanny pack. It's sling, it's a sling pack. Sling pack is cool. Fanny pack is, is not cool. So yeah, I could do the sling pack, you know, whatever. I'm, I'm like the, I'm like the young kids out here. So that's the, that's the sling pack. And then they also sent over a pouch. Now the pouch is 70% recycled material. So yeah, it's actually more than all the other, the other items in the Rian uh, collection still smaller YKK zips AquaGuard zipper I don't know about this color maybe I, I'm hoping that this this pouch comes in a lot of different colors and this is like a tech pouch let me give you the dimensions it's actually nine inches long it's seven inches high and it can expand out to a depth of three and a half inches so bigger pouch right here let me put my Thule mini this is the Thule power shuttle mini next to this so you can kind of see the size comparison this is bigger this is almost like uh, peak design tech pouch far as the width but definitely not the, the size so definitely thinner so definitely nice this is made out of 600d so inside you got some pin slots right there you could hook in some you know some knives or some pens and then you have two smaller slip pockets with the tan interior. Very simple pouch, but simple pouch, but they did put some little organization in there. I actually like the organization. I'm not feeling the color. It's like a creamy pink. It's not cool. <laughs> it's not cool. I wouldn't want to pull this out of my bag. Um, maybe it's it goes with other colors in the, the Rhiannon uh, lineup, but I would prefer the black one. You know, hopefully they make a make it in black. If you're gonna give me a black backpack, I want the pouch to match. You know, you gotta coordinate. <laughs> Whatever, man. So this is a smaller pack um, for you guys that have been asking me. Sometimes I get questions. George, can you do a smaller pack? Boom, I've done a smaller pack. 22 liters right here. 
Boundary Supplies, making the smaller pack. The updated Jansport. <laughs> Guys, if you like this video, hit the thumbs up button. If you love the content, subscribe to the channel. I know I've already done this, right? <laughs> and leave, leave a comment down below if you got a question or something, or you can shoot me an email. And I will see you guys in the next one, man. Peace.